All right. Hello, everybody, again. So earlier I made this video um, <clears throat> about the uh, cumulative update KB4598291. And I uh, updated my laptop and my desktop to this latest build of uh, Windows 10. And everything went fine on the laptop. And everything, for the most part, went fine on the desktop. But I'm making this video here to hopefully help someone uh, who uses a Reaver Tuner statistics server like I do <coughs> for, over, for in game overlay. Uh, to uh, help them find a solution faster if you if you run into this issue right here when your computer restarts. Uh, some system components cannot be hooked right now. It is strongly recommended to restart application. Um, you can restart the application. You can restart your computer. This will keep coming up. Um, if you go to the uh, Reaver, Tuner set, Reaver Tuner software itself, <laughs> and reset the cache, that doesn't help. Restarting the program doesn't help. And like I said, restarting your computer doesn't help, at least in my case. So yeah, this video is gonna be hopefully just to help somebody who uh, who uh, installs this version of Windows on their desktop and they use Reva Tuner Statistics Server and they run into this error, this annoying error. <clears throat> There's uh, how-tos on the internet that's, that have you, uh, that have you go to your directory where you have Reaver, Reaver Tuner Statistics Server installed and go to your config file and edit that file. And I have that file open. And they're having you uh, change this line right here. Uh, where is it? Silent, zero. They're having you change that to one. So. <clears throat> that's going to enable silence, right? <laughs> so when Reaver Tuner Statistics Server starts up, it's not going to chirp about this system components can't be hooked right away. And a lot of people on the internet are happy with that fix. I'm not. This is a band-aid. This isn't a real fix. That's silent mode keeps you from receiving important information like this so there's <clears throat> uh different apis and different setups that reva tuner statistics server needs to uh communicate with to do the on-screen overlay so you know every api is different every game's different um <clears throat> how things are done are different and uh this needs to work with a bunch of different environments to uh, overlay what you want to see on your screen. And if you change this to silent down the line, you're going to come across a game or something where you want the overlay to work and it's not going to work. You're like, well, why is it working in, in this game and it's not working in this other game? It's because you set it to silent mode. So yeah, that's, I don't recommend doing fixes like that or band-aids rather. Like I said, it's not really a fix. So the real fix to this problem would be done behind the scenes because this is a new Windows build that just came out. You know, they make, there's there must be small changes like behind the scenes, but luckily there's people who uh, write software like Reaver, Reaver Tuner, Statistics Server, and uh, MSI Afterburner that behind the scenes, they're using, uh, they're using um, uh, Insider, you know they get the they get the uh, Windows 10 builds before us. You know people who be pretty much beta testing Windows. So this their software um, that they're working on, whether it be uh, Afterburner or uh, Reaver Tuner, they're ha they're making sure that software works on those builds of Windows 10 that they have their hands on before people like me get it. So that that makes it a lot easier for me. So by the time I get this new build of Windows 10, like I like the one that just came out yesterday and I installed it today. And then I run into this error with this piece of software. The guys who have the insider builds of Windows 10 have been working on this issue for however long they've had this build of Windows already before it went live. 
So yeah, they uh, did they they did fix this problem, and instead of uh, going and doing what I consider to be the bad the bad way of doing it by silencing the error, I want to know that that error is there. I want to know that there are some issues with the uh, statistics server. I want to I want to know that that it's uh, that it's potentially not going to work in some situations. I want to know that. So that's going to stay silent at zero. I don't want it to be silent. I want to know when something's up. So uh, <clears throat> the, the real fix, and I'm going to post this link in the description. Now, all, always be careful when you download a beta software, right? I prefer not to download beta software. But if the beta software fixes a problem that I have, now granted, I like to have my... Uh, my uh <clears throat> my uh temperatures right here reported by afterburner you don't need reaver tuna statistics server to have this functionality but if you want to overlay you need uh rtss you need it so that then that usually comes as an optional install with uh you could get it separately too but it usually comes with a uh <clears throat> with uh afterburner it comes packaged with afterburner the uh, latest uh, Reaver Tuner uh, statistics server will come packaged with the latest <clears throat> installer for MSI Afterburner. So you can get them both separately, but if you use them uh, hand in hand, like I, you know, I got Afterburner reporting this uh, temperatures, and I like to have uh, Reaver Tuner for the the overlay. <clears throat> you you just get them as as one thing. So here's the here's the link that I'm going to put in the description. This is to the beta version of Afterburner, which includes, I believe, the latest beta version of Reaver, Reaver Tuner Statistics Server. And that's where the real fix is. It's, I don't believe it's an Afterburner issue. It's the actual uh, Reaver Tuner Statistics Server uh, that's having an issue with this latest uh, build of Windows 10. So let me go to Afterburner. So yeah, I want to put this link this, this is the real fix. And you don't have to uninstall Afterburner or, or uh, Reaver Tuner Statistics Server. You could just go right to this download. I'll put the link in the description. Download this and install right over it. It should fix the problem for you just installing right over it. Like I said, it's really just the newest beta version of RST, uh, RS, uh, <laughs> whatever you call it, Reaver Tuner Statistics Server, RTSS being installed over the older version and that should fix the problem so yeah here's afterburner and i have it uh just a, some a little backdrop to uh, some of the things you can do with afterburner besides just uh you know displaying your temperatures and doing the and and using it to you know uh using reva to uh do the overlay in your games you can uh you can have uh so let me go here to uh, user interface. So right now I have it in single I single tray icon mode, and it just kind of lumps the two together. Like if you have this, uh, th these being displayed, it'll hide the uh, Reaver tuner. So I'm going to take it out of single tray display mode. I'm going to apply. Okay. So now you can see it's separated. Reaver Tuner Statistics Server from uh, Afterburner. So you can see there are two separate entities. But you know what? I'm going to, uh, and, and this makes it easier for you to get to your Reaver Tuner settings. But I'm going to show you a better way that you should be doing that. So I'm going to close this. Because this, too much stuff down there, oh, I didn't need to, need to close. Oh, it starts to back up anyway. But um, I, what I really wanted to do was minimize it. But anyway, it's open. It's open back up again. So yeah, I don't want to have too much stuff going on in my sys tray if I can help. But I do like to know what's going on. Stuff as you can see, I don't hide anything in the sys tray. I want to know what's running and know if I have too much stuff running. Know if I need to do a little computer auditing. You know, too much stuff running. So what I like to do is go back in the settings, go to user interface again, and I'm gonna put it back in single tray icon mode because that's the way I prefer it. All right, so now Reaver Tuner still running, but it's kind of lumped in with uh, the afterburner components right here. 
but you can still, if you want to see what version of Reaver Tuner you have or configure it, you can still get to it by, let me refresh my memory, let's go back into Afterburner, go to Settings, and we're going to go to, I think it's On Screen Display, On Screen Display, yes, On Screen Display, and then More. And then this brings you right back to where you were before. You don't have, but you don't have it as an autonomous entity right here. It's combined with the uh, afterburner icons, but you can still get to it. Let me show you that one more time. Um, <clears throat> cancel that. So you go into settings for afterburner. Well, first, let's minimize afterburner. So you right-click your afterburner icons, show, and then we're going to go to settings, and then we're going to go to on-screen display, more. Now we can see uh, Reaver Tone, Reaver, man, you, you, know, you know I can't speak. Reaver Tuner Statistics Server is uh, version 7.3.0 beta 10. And I believe the uh, version that I had installed with the non beta version that comes with the non beta version of Afterburner is 7.23, 7.2.3. So yeah, this updated version of Revatuner resolves the issue of this popping up every time it oh, every time your computer starts if you have it set to start up or if you have Afterburner and it's a company and components starting with Windows, you're going to get this every time or or every time you try to run a uh, Revatuner <clears throat> statistics server. That's going to that's going to come up every time. So um, yeah, this this is the ver if you get this uh, latest version of Afterburner, it's going to install Afterburner, and then part of that installer, it also begins to run the installer for this. And you're gonna, of course, you're going to want to install it if you want to do the overlays in your games and stuff. And then this is where you would go to configure. You know, if you see like uh, you know uh, Bitwit and you know. All of those other tech tubers doing their overlays and they they're, make it look different. Here's where you can make it look make it look different. It's actually it's weird because in Afterburner, that's this is the place where you actually decide what you want to show on for on screen display as far as overlay. This is where you configure it in Afterburner in the monitoring tab and uh, <clears throat> in Reaver Tuner. This is where you can. Um, change uh the look of it a little bit like you can you can zoom out you can zoom in you know if you want the <clears throat> the font to look bigger and stuff this is where you would do that so yeah i know a lot of people already know how to do reaver tuner better than me but this really i just made this video to help anybody who uses this and um this uh latest version of windows uh, gives them this annoying this annoying message. This is just a public service announcement. Not to do this. Don't don't change this to silent. That's everyone's doing it. I know everybody's happy out there, but it's the wrong way to do it. Let's let's not do things the wrong way. Let's do things the right way. So yeah, that's very long winded uh, video. Something I probably could have said in uh, under a minute if I knew how to speak correctly, but. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a nice day and uh, their uh, window starts up without chirping about annoying errors and stuff. So everybody have a, <clears throat> was it Wednesday? Everybody have a good Wednesday.